Gurus are deeply wounded by this Laddu. I mean, this is something which cannot be pardoned. It cannot be forgiven. It's malicious and it is height of greed of of the people who are involved in this. Not just the ladu, but every food product. What about the ghee that is available in market? Is anyone checking what they are putting in it? All those who are adulterating food and they put their mark that it is vegetarian and they put any sort of non-veg stuff in it should all be very strictly punished. We have read in history book how in 1857, the Sipai Mutini happened and now we see how the sentiments of the Hindus are deeply wounded by this Laddu. I mean this is something which cannot be pardoned, it cannot be forgiven, it's malicious and it is height of greed of, of the people who are involved in this process. So they need to be punished severely not only that, all their assets should be seized and they should be put in jail. Whoever is remotely involved in this process and number one. Second, what is needed is, you know, the, the Hindu psyche is so wounded now when listening to this. We need to check on not just the ladu but every food product. What about the ghee that is available in market? Is anyone checking? what they are putting in it. All those who are adulterating food and they put their mark that it is vegetarian and they put any sort of non-veg stuff in it should all be very strictly punished. Adulteration should be done with in this country and for the temple management we need to see that it is under the supervision of saints and swamis and spiritual leaders, because see, it's only Hindu religion which uh, does not have at the helm of the affairs, the religious leaders, the temples are not ruled by, are not managed by religious leaders, except a few one. So we need to have a committee of spiritual leaders, both North and South, they should oversee. Let there be a person from the government side as well, but he has to be playing a minor role, but major decisions, major supervision, everything should be done by a religious board. Like SGPC is there, like for Muslim, there is a body which takes care, for Christians, there is a body which takes care of Christian affairs and churches. So should the Hindus be. Government should keep their hands away from this, except to see if there is any conflict anywhere, they need to intervene and then solve those conflicts. This is high time that we give the right to manage the temples to Hindu religious leaders.